Hello, everyone. Today, we will demonstrate the working principle of a snub-snubber circuit using a simulation in Proteus. A snubber circuit is a crucial component used in power electronics to suppress voltage spikes and protect switching devices like MOSFETs and IGBTs from damage. These voltage spikes, known as transients, occur when the current through an inductive load is suddenly interrupted. Without a snubber circuit, these spikes can exceed the device's voltage rating and cause failure. Why snubber circuits are important. When a MOSFET or IGBT switches off, the inductor resists the sudden change in current due to its stored energy, generating high voltage spikes. A snubber circuit, typically consisting of a resistor RS and capacitor CS, absorbs this energy and limits the voltage spike, ensuring the switching device remains within its safe operating limits. Let me walk you through the circuit setup. Here I am using an RF540 MOSFET. The source is grounded and a PWM signal is applied to the gate. The drain is connected to a 1 mH inductor, which is connected to a 12 volt power supply through a 270 ohm resistor for current limiting. Initially, we'll simulate the circuit without the snubber. Notice how the voltage spikes appear across the MOSFET during switching. These transients can exceed the MOSFET's rated voltage of 100 volts, potentially causing it to fail. Let's place a probe across the drain and source terminals and run the simulation. The graph shows voltage spikes exceeding 12 volts during switching. This happens because the energy stored in the inductor has no path to dissipate, leading to high transient voltages. To mitigate these spikes, we add a snubber circuit with a resistor RS and capacitor CS across the MOSFET's drain and source terminals. This circuit provides a path for the inductor's energy to dissipate, limiting the voltage spikes. Calculating snubber circuit component values. Step 1. Calculate the current. First, calculate the current through the resistor R1. Given, 9 in VCC equals 12 volts. R1 equals 10 ohms. The current I is given by I equals frac BCC's R1, 1210 equals 1.2 text amperes. Step 2, energy stored in the inductor. Now, calculate the energy stored in the inductor L. Using the formula, EL equals 0.5 times L times I2, given 9 char equals 1 millihenry, which is 0.001 henry. I equals 1.2 amperes. Substitute the values. EL equal 0.5 times 0.01 is 1.22, 0.5 times 0.01, 1.44, 720. Step 3. Snubber capacitance CS. Now, calculate the snubber capacitance using the formula. CS equal frac 2 times EL, delta V2. Assume the voltage spike, delta V, is between 24 volts and 50 volts. Let's take delta V equals 24 text volts. CS equal frac 2 times 720 times 1026, 24 squared, equal frac 440 times 6, 576, approx 2.5 farads. Step 4, snubber resistance RS. The snubber resistance is calculated using RS equals frac, frac, delta V. Substitute RS equal frac 24, 1.2 will 20 text, ohms. Step 5, power dissipation in RS. Finally, calculate the power dissipation in the snubber resistor. PRS equal I2 plus P digits equals 1.22 times 20 equals 1.44 times 20 equals 28.8 watts. Summary of results, snubber capacitance, CS, equals 2.5 microfarads. Choosing the closest standard value, you can use a 2.2 microfarads capacitor. Snubber resistance, RS equals 20 ohms. Power dissipation in RS, PRS equals 28.8 watts. This concludes the calculation for the snubber circuit components. Now let's rerun the simulation with the snubber circuit. Observe how the voltage spikes are significantly reduced, staying within safe limits. The snubber capacitor absorbs the energy stored in the inductor while the resistor dissipates it as heat. Key takeaways. The snubber circuit protects the MOSFET from transients, increasing its lifespan and ensuring safe operation. For the RF540, 
we made sure the spike stayed below 50 volts, well within its 100 volt rating. Calculations and careful component selection are critical for an effective snubber design. Conclusion. If you found this demonstration helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials on power electronics. Check out the description for related links, including guides on building inverters and designing snubber circuits. Thank you for watching.